Thank you for all to join today. Audible? Yeah. Yes. Hare Krishna. So we'll start with the prayers. Srila Prabhupada Ki. Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Kunja Bihari Gopi Jana Valla Girivara Bhati Gopi Jana Valla Gopi Jana Valla Girivara Bhati
श्रीमते भक्ति स्वामी नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैताद्र श्रीवासादि गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे प्लीज रिपीट आफ्टर मी ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय so this whole session is dedicated to the divine grace bhakti vedanta swami shri laprupa shri laprupa the key so small incident in the life of shri laprupa we'll share that then i'll go ahead with the 13th chapter <clears throat> you might be aware some of you so it might be a repetition for you so shri laprupa was very caring is very benevolent actually we look only one side of shri laprupa that he is spiritual mentor or spiritual leader but he was so caring for even for worldly ideologies so once what happened <clears throat> shri laprupa saw his uh, his uh, disciple who is so so much engrossed or absorbed in service always service service, service. so this is one of the mataji called as kusha mataji sharing this thought, thought now so shri laprupa what what he did he has stick some paper in the kitchen hand written in his own hand that what is the priority so it's very encouraging for all of us because shri laprupa took that kind of uh, effort to guide each and every one it's our fortune that we are all getting this association 
and these thought processes as well as all these Acharya's teachings through Srila Prabhupada. Unfortunately, we are not born in that time. That's not fortunate for us. So, what he has written is very important to know. Because mainly, uh, why it is very important? Because we ignore sometimes. He, were, he was not ignoring that. What he has written, first is health. Then second is chanting. It's not, uh, we should not take it as a one-sided. Rather, we should take, because all of us are uh, working here and materially engaged in so many activities. So this suits us. That's what I just thought. And it suits this chapter also. So second one is uh, chanting and third one is service and fourth one is sadhana related to reading, book reading. So he has given first preference for health because without this bodily health, we will not be able to do sadhana. But for Shuddha Bhaktas, we are not Shuddha. For Shuddha Bhaktas, the bodily attachment is not there, that is second. Srila Prabhupada was benevolent as, as mentioned before. Because of that benevolence in nature, he is so much of uh, having so much of uh, karuna for living entity like us. And he was saying this way. So this can be taken. In fact, he has written so many times letters. And in letters, what he used to sign or he used to mention that, hope this meets you in good health. When he was writing each letter, he mentions like this, hope this meets you in good health. So generally, we think, Okay, spiritual mastery is not concerned about my health, only chanting and thinking about all this. No, he was. He was. For each and every individual, he was checking how they are doing, how much he is eating, all these things. Initial days, obviously. So this was the great thing to learn from this great authority, Srila Prabhupada. <clears throat> so let's dedicate our whole life to Srila Prabhupada, not just this session. Under the guidance of our present Acharyas, uh, present is called Guru Rindas. So this whole session, as well as the subject matter, is developed under the guidance of uh, His Holiness Jayapatak Swami Maharaj. He's a spiritual master and governing body commissioner, commission member, minister of congregation development. His Holiness Jayapatak Swami Maharaj ki. So 13th chapter, before getting there, we will have small re recap from the previous classes. So that will make an arrangement for our mind to get into the subject matter. So totally, I am sure, you know, 18 chapters in Bhagavad Gita. It comes from where? Bhagavad Gita comes from? Mahabharata. Okay. Mahabharata. Okay. How many chapters? See, 18 chapters. So first six chapter is called as Karma Yoga. Middle chip six chapter, Bhakti yoga. Bhakti yoga. And last, Jnana. In that, we are touching the first chapter or we are thinking of understanding the 13th chapter summary. So this is the scenario. And one important thing here is why Krishna kept Bhakti Yoga in the middle? Or for any understanding, to get some understanding, we need knowledge. You know? After knowledge only, we will do something. But that is only for material thing, not for spiritual thing. So spiritual knowledge is also bhakti actually. But however, Srimad Bhagavatam says, uh, Vasudeve Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayojita Janayati Ashu Vairagyam Jnanam Cha Tad Ahaitu Means once someone really starts bhakti yoga, knowingly, unknowingly, then jnana and vairagya comes naturally, automatically. We no need to hanker for it. That is the reason this chapter is last. It's not that it's not important. It's important. But already we understood now from the sixth chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Bhakti is utmost. It's the top most. Because Bhakti and Bhagavan, there is no difference. Bhakti and Bhagavan, there is no difference. So it's very important subject matter that uh, we are ignoring this. We are ignoring. We read the whole Bhagavad Gita and in the material, material concept of speculation or understanding subject matter in a technical way. But it is a science of heart. That's why in Brahma Samhita it is said, as well as in uh, many Shastras, even in Bhagavad Gita, right? Hridaya. It is not brain or uh, mana. It is Hridaya. Hridayeshu. 
So Brahma received this knowledge through his heart. So Brahma received this knowledge of Shastra through his heart. So it's we have to open our heart and understand this subject matter. So this is a scenario we have to understand to get into this, this subject matter. The Jnana part of uh, the later part. However, in all these 18 chapters, Bhakti is inbuilt. Without Bhakti, nothing is possible. Without Bhakti, nothing is possible. That's why without the granting power of Krishna, even small grass also cannot move. Small grass also cannot move. We agree or not, it is eternally truth. One who is sober will understand very easily. One who has uh, defending mentality, he will take some time. It's not that he will not understand, he will take some time. So this is about uh, the part of preparation for Jnana. Jnana Yoga. Because this chapter deals with the body. It is described in the second chapter. It's a little more further continuation of second chapter. So we'll understand that slowly. <clears throat> we'll move on to the verses of few verses. So please repeat after me. It's the first verse of 13th chapter. 13th chapter is named as you can see in the down nature enjoyer and consciousness. What is the name in Sanskrit? Kshetra, Kshetra Jnaya. That's all. Kshetra, Kshetra Jnaya Yoga. Is it not? Okay. Arjuna Vacha Prakritim Purusham Chaiva Kshetram Kshetra Jnam Evacha Yetad Veditum Ichami Yanam Nyayam Chakeshava. Someone can read once this verse. Okay, next verse I'll move, then we'll discuss. Sri Bhagavan Uacha Idam Shariram Kaunteya. Ketram iti abhidhiyate Eta dio veti tam prahu Ketra jna iti tad vidaha Ketra jnam chapi maam vidhi Sarva ketre shubharata Kshetra Kshetra Jnayo Jnanam Yattat Jnanam Matam Mama You can see the footprint of Nati of the whole that the the body or son of the Kunti is called the spirit and who one who knows this spirit is called the lord of the spirit or female of the Bharata you should understand that I am also the knower of in all body, and you should understand this body and its knower is called knowledge. This is my opinion. Thank you. So Lord Krishna answers here six questions of Arjuna. So disciples' quality is humbly ask question, not in a repenting man. Humbly ask. Tadvidhi pranipate. Pranipat means surrendering. Pariprashna means one can question the spiritual master to get the ultimate truth. So Arjuna asked six questions. So these six questions are, what is Prakriti? What is Purusha? What is Kshetra? What is Kshetra Jnana? What is Jnana? What is Jnaya? I'll repeat again. Prakriti, Purusha, Kshetra, Kshetra Jnana, Jnana, Jnaya. So today's class, we are going to understand this in a whatever rough manner. Further classes when we go, Verse by verse, we'll have deeper knowledge. Currently, we'll understand what is mentioned in this 13th chapter. Prakriti, Purusha, Kshetra, Kshetra Jnana, Jnana Jnaya. First, Lord Krishna answers Kshetra and Kshetra Jnana, Jnana Jnaya, and at last, Prakriti and Purusha. In this scenario, we'll do. Okay? Please give attention because it's otherwise... <laughs> 
it is a science. <laughs> so, Kshetra, okay. Kshetra. Idam Shariram Kaunteya Kshetram Iti Abhidhyate. Okay, what is Kshetra is mentioned by Lord in the first words. Idam Shariram Kaunteya Kshetram Iti Abhidhyate. What is Kshetra? Our body. Okay. Why it is considered as Kshetra? Yes, it is a place to perform activity. Let's understand a little more deeper here. For example, if someone asks you, who are you? Then what you will tell? I am Guru Raj or Guru Gauranga or Murali Prabhu or whatever. Okay. To whom it is represented? This body or soul? Actually, it is representing the body. I am representing this body. But actually, I am inside someone else. This is my body. Who am I? This body is mine, but who am I? I am soul. Okay. So, this body is very important to understand. Let us go a little more deeper this subject matter. So, this body is made up of what? Because this is simple, all of you know no need to go much deeper. So what are the ingredients of this body? Pancha? Basic. Pancha Mahabhuta. Great elements. Okay. They are? They are? Apa, Nalo, Vayu, Kham, is five. Prithvi, Ap, Tejas, Vayu, Akasha. Earth, water, yes, fire, air, ether. Okay. Only that is not sufficient. Still further supply is coming from Lord. We have not created this. Brahma also not created this. Who created this? Lord Krishna himself. So he is supplying many things to create this body so that this soul, soul can reside in this body. So what are that? We will understand. It is here. First we will cover the body. <laughs> body part. So 24 elements are there. Pancha Mahabhuta, Pancha Jnanendriya, Pancha Karmendriya, Pancha Tanmatra, Sukshma Indriya and Pradhan. Okay. Let's understand. Pancha Mahabhuta you already know. Prithvi Aptaja Svayu Akasha. Pancha Jnanendriya also you know. First, what are they? Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. Working senses means Karma Indriya. Karma Indriya. Gross, voice, legs, hands, anus and genitals. Okay. Vak, Pani, Pada, Payu, Upastha. Then Tanmatra. Tanmatra. It is considered as object of senses. Okay. Form. Okay. Form is considered as what? Rupa, Shabda, this suffering bird, the moment this suffering bird sees the bird who is seeing me, then moksha happens. Moksha here means release from the problem of material entanglement. This is what the subject matter of Kshetrajna means. Kshetrajna means knower of Kshetra, that is only soul knows little about the body. But the super soul, Paramatma knows all bodies and everything. Because everything happens from him only. What it is mentioned in Shastra is very important. Without his... Even uh, Netrena. Netrena means what? Without his vision, nothing happens. Without his vision, nothing happens. We will understand through story also. Uh, you can see this uh, small... Uh, Thing which you can understand very easy. Very, very easy. So now it is in your hand. What is that you can try to explain? Who is tenant and who is the landlord? Who is the tenant in the house? Soul is the tenant. I know only this 
small house but owner knows whole apartment what is the building how it is how where and all uh, water leakage everything he will only come to know but soul knows only his house leakage generally <laughs> so that is about kshetra and kshetrajna next also you can understand farmer knows only his farm land but king knows all all forms kshetra and kshetrajna little more deeper we'll go <clears throat> little more oh, sorry. yeah i want to complicate it kshetra kshetrajna one who knows the kshetra two people are knowing the kshetra soul and super soul atma and paramatma okay this is clear no doubt about it no next we'll move to jnana jnana okay क्षेत्र क्षेत्र नोइंग अबाउट क्षेत्र एंड क्षेत्र बोथ इज कंसीडर्ड एज ज्ञान देर आर सर्टेन सिम्टम्स ऑफ सच नो वन बै नोइंग दैट सिम्टम वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट ही इज नोइंग द क्षेत्र एंड क्षेत्र वेरी सिंपल नॉट सो डिफिकल्ट बै नोइंग दिम्टम इफ नॉट कमिंग आई ऑल्सो so what are the symptom it looks material but it is not material so symptoms are <clears throat> amanitvam adambitvam ahimsa kshantir arjavam acharyo pasanam shaucham stairyam atma vinigraha indriyartheshu vairagyam anahankara evacha janma mrutyu jara vyadhi dukkha doshanudarshanam asaktir anabishvangam anabishvangah पुत्रदार गृहादिषु नित्यम च समचित्तत्वम इष्टा निष्टोपपत्तिषु मै चानन्य योगेन इंपॉर्टेंट एक्चुअली व्हाट इज ज्ञान बाय सीइंग दिस सिम्टम वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड आर वी प्रोसेसिंग दिस रियल ज्ञान वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट वन इज वी विल क्विकली रीड वी विल नॉट गो मच डीप इनटू इट अमानित्वम अमानित्वम मींस व्हाट ह अमानित्वम मींस व्हाट Uh, humanity or humility actually not humanity humility cleanliness that is also part of anta shout internal cleanliness finally remembering the lord is cleanliness finally fully remembering the lord 24 by 7 if you can do that is what real cleanliness steadiness self control renunciation of the object of sense gratification absence of false ego false ego means i am this body i am this body this is mine i am not thinking that i am the servant of lord i am actually servant of lord but i think that i am this body i am lord of everything i am the owner of this house etc the perception of the evil of, evil of birth death old age and disease fearful of birth death old age and disease detachment freedom from anti- entanglement with children wife home and the rest even mindedness amid pleasant and unpleasant events constant and unalloyed devotion unto me this is very important bhakti avyabicharini bhakti among this this is the first priority first priority given is to this if someone follows this avyabicharini bhakti means unalloyed service to lord without thinking anything then everything will fall in place shastra says everything all god's godly quality will fall in place having to live in a solitary place solitary place means like now what we are doing is solitary place okay what is this solitary place no disturbance to do bhakti from anyone it's not that i will go to some forest no that's not for this uh, yoga detachment from the general mass of people accepting the importance of self realization and philosophical search for the absolute truth all these i declare to be knowledge and besides this whatever there may be is ignorance we possess besides this everything 
from heart we can tell that i can tell that except all these everything i possess whatever mentioned here i don't so i don't have any knowledge but still prabhu is asking me to sit here <laughs> so please uh, forgive me if i do some offense here so this is the position of mind here so i don't have any knowledge about lord and nothing but still what is their blessings of and mercy of great acharyas because of that we are here for example if there is fire here don't think negative fire here and there is no possibility for me to go out and i have fully you know catched in some difficulty but someone else can go i should tell oh this is the entrance you can go here go here i can shout like that i am not qualified but since acharyas has given this knowledge if i you know abide with the rules and regulation eventually i will follow and get that quality but doesn't mean that i should not tell some so i should tell this good thing even though i am not able to follow in that level i should keep hankering to follow but at the same time i should explain others also who are uh, open to us at least for them we should explain this subject so this is what the subject of jnana next is jnaya okay jnaya jnaya is for the jnaya also we will understand knowing about the soul and super soul okay so specifically knowing about soul we already understood super soul we will understand ha ah, no no everywhere his hands from there everywhere are his hands and legs so one story also comes we will discuss that story everywhere are his hands and legs his eyes heads and faces and he has ears everywhere in this way the super soul exists <coughs> sorry pervading everything someone can continue reading 15 16 and 17 super soul is the origin source of all senses ियल It is beyond the power of the material senses to or to how to know. Although far far away, he is also near to all. Although the super soul appears to be totally among the beings, he is never here. Or though the thing that the very thing may be here, it is. So, is the source of light all in luminous objects is behind the darkness of matter and is unknown to manifested is the knowledge is the object of knowledge and is the goal of knowledge which is situated in the everything sort of he is the knowledge he is the object of knowledge he is the goal of knowledge. so this is where i was thinking of getting it so it is clear what is jnaya jnaya is knowledge about lord what is the process bhakti in speculative things we will not be able to understand so only bhakti that's why uh, bhakti avyabicharini unalloyed devotion to lord that only gives the knowledge about so jnana jnaya now let us understand about paramatma where he is through the story of kanakadasa anyone knows kanakadasa and the story of banana huh? banana so once uh, kanakadasa who is kanakadasa who is his spiritual master any thought vyasa vyasa maharshi so he is in where he was living in udupi okay udupi so once what happened his spiritual master the guru vyasa uh, pardon okay so gives banana to all disciples on ekadashi day there are different uh, people talk about different uh, 
differently this story, but one of the way. Okay. So on Ekadashi day, supposed to be fasting, all these kids, means somewhat kids. Okay. So they can't fast so much. No? So banana. They were actually they are doing nirjala, but banana. You are all hungry. You take this banana. And you should eat such a way that no one should see this. The process of eating. No one should see. So everyone eat. I will make short. Everyone eat. Except Kanak. Everyone ate and they said where they ate. In dark room I ate. Upper place they ate. Behind the tree. Except so many reasons. So many places. Wherever. When Kanakadasa is questioned, why you have not eaten? Why you are giving banana wapas? Okay. Then he said, I can see everywhere Lord. I can't eat without seeing Lord. Anu renu trina kashta dhani bhagavan trina. Anu renu trina kashta. Means everywhere. In living and non-living entity, Lord is there. How can I? How can I? So like that. So that is the highest authority. From them, we can understand. Sorry for little technical problems here. This is done. Kanakadas story of eating a banana alone. Okay. Short story. Next time, full story. <laughs> okay. This also we covered. We will go through again. Iti kshetram tatha jnanam yeyam choktam samasataha mad bhakta etad vijnaya mad bhava bhava yopa padyate mad bhava yopa padyate Let's see here. Thus the field of activities that is the body. We understood the field of activity. No doubt, right? What are the 24 elements? Yes. Grass subtle. Okay. Five Mahabhutas, Pancha Jnana Indriyas, Pancha Karma Indriyas, Pancha Tanmatras, Chitta, Mana, Buddhi, Ahankara, and Pradhan. Try to remember. That is, if someone asks, what is your body made up of? We should be able to say these 24 elements. These 24 elements. Krishna explains. Bhomir Apo. All these things he has mentioned in Shasta. This is what? Ahankara also. This is what our body is made of. So, field of activity. Knowledge and the knowable. Knowledge, what is knowledge? 20 elements. 20 elements which shows that we have knowledge or not. Spiritual knowledge. Humility, etc. etc. Humility, etc. etc. In that, specifically, unalloyed devotion to the Lord. Unalloyed devotion to the Lord. And uh, knowable, we understood that he is everywhere, he is explained, you know, expanding himself. Nook and corner is there, he's all pervasive. All these things we understood. Correct? That is knowable. Next two things are pending that we discussed. Prakriti and Purusha are beginningless. Prakritim Purusham Chaiva Vidhi Anadi Ubhav Api Vika Vikaram Scha Gunam Chaiva Vidhi Prakriti. Sambhavan, material nature and the living entities should be understood to be beginningless. Means it is eternally there in the Lord. Eternally there in the Lord, it is beginningless. Their transformations and the modes of matter are product of material nature. It's a combination. It's a combination and material nature happens. Manifestation happens. Material manifestation happens. That's why, that's why it's very, very important. We should not ignore this material nature. It is not our creation. Whatever we want to do with the nature, it's a very sad situation. In the whole world, what is happening is a very sad situation. We can do whatever with nature. We can abuse nature. We are abusing nature. It is told in Shastra, three things should not be abused. Bhishma, Maha, Bhishma Pitamaha says, Bhishma Patam, Pitamaha is Mahajana. Mahajana means what? They know perfectly about Lord. Lord Shiva is Mahajana. Bali is Bali Maharaj is Mahajana. Like that, how many? 12 Mahajanas are there. Among one of them is who? Bhishma Pitama. Bhishma Pitama says three things should be protected nicely, should not be sold, should be given full respect. First one is Mother Nature, Prakriti. She is wife of God, Lord Vishnu. Okay, Bhu Devi in Sri Vaishnava Parampara. She is Bhudeva, 
okay bhudevi we should not sell also selling was not there before it was given as a gift from the king be now we are selling then second one is mother cow gau mat mother cow and third one is mother saraswati mother saraswati knowledge these three things are sold in kali but it in this con in our place knowledge is not so knowledge is not so even bhagavad gita also not so 300 rupees for bhagavad gita is nothing for the its knowledge or 400 whatever i'm roughly giving that or 7 8000 for bhagavatam is nothing when the bhagavat comes to our house all negative quality gone you are going close to the god not close to the uh, demoniac lifestyle etc the moment auspicious so all of us as much as possible should have this possession this is our real possession having bhagavad gita at home bhagavad gita no one can chori nahi kare koi no one can steal no one want this bhagavad in kali yuga means no one in the sense i am talking about thief who will who will do bhagavad this big thick books i don't want <laughs> i don't want but when we see thick books we will think okay so many ways it's pending here let me at least see open the box and see what is something thick at least that will encourage us so physical book is very very important that is for the subject matter of prakriti three things should not be sold we are abusing mother nature it's unfortunate for all of us but being thinking of becoming closer to krishna what krishna loves we should know what krishna loves how he gives and when we sang jaya radha madhava what it says yamuna tira vanachari means he is always with nature not in <laughs> all of us are actually in a in a struggleful place to be frank but nevertheless we are trying to become closer to krishna but this should not be ignored as much as possible within being in the city nature we should follow two dharmas two dharmas are given by lord to follow this gyan to get this gyan easily which you already covered in the previous chapter that is varnashrama dharma to manage our body that is considered as dharma related to this body varnashrama dharma okay and bhagavata dharma dharma related to me and my lord connection these two things only given by lord to progress ourselves to go close to the lord bhakti is very important irrespective of we are following dharma or not we should start doing bhakti but when we start doing bhakti we will come to this knowledge then we should start adopting this knowledge to become a guidance for others otherwise others also will follow for example uh, shrila prabhupada was a grahastha okay then he became sannyas sannyas this is the process of uh, varnashrama dharma after certain age when kids are grown up leaving a wife and kids so that kids can see take care of her and going to but current scenario we cannot do like that but however that the mood of mood is very very mood is very very important that is the subject matter of prakriti so we have to protect the prakriti now we should do planting and chanting we should keep chanting as well as we should support planting otherwise further generation cannot chant because i am telling i am chanting but i am cutting the trees what is the point no point at all so being in city also we can think this way we can we can uh, try to help such people one who is doing such activities so one one small story i remember there was two muslim farmers muslim actually in udupi udupi two muslim asma and abubakar their names they have their own farm land and they cultivate different varieties of uh, natural uh, nature our indian thali what is that called breed or what indian thali grains indian grains they are cultivating it and uh, paddy sorry paddy different varieties and they said the first cultivate should come so that we can give this to 
లార్డ్ కృష్ణ ఇన్ మోడ్ ఒపీనియన్ ఫార్ పర్యాయం పర్యాయం అండర్స్టాండ్ ఈచ్ టూ ఇయర్స్ వన్స్ దే డూ పర్యాయం సో దట్ ఎవరీ వన్ గెట్ దిస్ ఫుడ్ నేచర్ ఫ్రమ్ అవర్ సేమ్ ల్యాండ్ యాక్చువల్లీ దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో డివోషనల్ సర్వీస్ సో ఇర్ రెస్పెక్టివ్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ కాస్ట్ క్రియేట్ వీ క్యాన్ డూ డివోషనల్ సర్వీస్ దిస్ ఈస్ వాట్ వీ క్యాన్ సీ ఫ్రమ్ కనకదాస వీ క్యాన్ సీ ఫ్రమ్ సో మెనీ అదర్ ఎగ్జాల్టెడ్ డివోటీస్ లైక్ as we mentioned uh, our uh, haridas thakur he is born in muslim community we'll discuss more about it further class this is about prakriti and purusha and where lord is there how lord's capacity is mentioned here in the 13.23 upadrishta anumanta cha bharta bhokta maheshwara paramatmeti chaapi vukto dehe smin purusha para yet in this body there is another a transcendental enjoyer so we are all imitating enjoyer we want to lord it over lord <laughs> we want to lord it over we want to become more than lord yet in this body there is another a transcendental enjoyer who is the lord the supreme proprietor who exists as the overseer and permitter already we discussed he is a permitter and overseer and who is known as the super soul who is the super soul we are he is there in everyone's heart sarvasya chaham hridi sannivishta matta smritir jnana mapohan everything he only gives knowledge forgetfulness etc et the moment we think about him then he will open his you know, blessings is come he will he will show us he will show us to go to close to guru and vaishnav sangha we are all getting this association is because of mercy of lord because of mercy of great archa nothing else we don't have that capacity this already we discussed prakriti is material nature purusha is already we know enjoyer supreme enjoyer is lord krishna we are imitating enjoyer we should not enjoy we have to uh, serve lord whatever he enjoys what he gives we can enjoy it isha vasya upanishad says isha vasyam itam sarvam yatkinchit jagatyam jagat tena tyaktena bhujita tyaktena whatever he gives enjoy it bunjita bunjita means eat whatever he has given he eat he has not given is not mine but that eating also i should remember him you you have given to me because you i am getting this otherwise i might have not got this and kshetra is body kshetrajna is soul and super soul jnana is understanding kshetra and kshetrajna by the symptoms of 20 qualities jnaya is understanding that uh, all qualities of lord by the process of bhakti <clears throat> and 26th verse says anyetva evam ajanatah shrutva anyebhya upasate tepi chati taranti eva mrutyam shuti parayana very important because already we understood that we don't have knowledge we understood no we don't have these 20 qualities i don't have but all of us are here for what to listen you no know, lord is giving hope for us with this verse very good hope again there are those who although not conversant in spiritual knowledge we can't read big big vedas so many upanishads we can't have that much memory but one authority being to worship the supreme person upon upon here still we still hearing from authority who is authority guru yes krishna prabhupada etc authority listening from them you are not listening from me i am just parrot telling whatever is there i am telling them we are getting we are just has to become parrot that's all. explain others like okay? whatever we heard we, we should not put our own ingredients manipulate it and tell no whatever is there sorry we have to tell simple simple to reach god straight forward process straight forward no no need to think so much that's why it is hridaya that's how it is loving okay. again there are two already done such person who here in this way can overcome the path of birth death old age disease etc etc story of cobbler and brahmana which says about the 26th verse okay, which gives more more clear understanding 
So once Narada Muni, who is the great worshipper of Narayana or Krishna, okay, he was all pervading. Oh, he want to go anywhere, he can go. As he wish, he can go. Okay, wherever he want, he can go. All of you know, Narayana, Narayana, he will sing and he will keep going. Once he was walking in the mortal world, in this earth, and he saw a great Brahmana. And he's doing Sandhya Vandana, taking bath, etc., etc. So much of austerity he was doing. And immediately when he saw Narada Muni, he didn't immediately stop his process because one more small pending mantra was there. <laughs> he finally did it. Okay, pending. He did it. And then he saw uh, Narada Muni and he had put full obeisances, namaskaram to Narada Muni. And he welcomed Narada Muni. Narada Muni came closer. And he said, please come, honor seat, etc. Narada Muni honored seat. And even he asked, do you want to have food? Means bhojan or prasadam. Then he said, no, no, I have to go further. Then he asked a question. You are always very close to Narayana. You frequently visit Narayana. No? If you get a chance to visit, I have one question. Can you ask that to Lord? When I will get salvation? When I will get mukti? Or when I will reach Krishna? Whatever. On these three questions. Or three in the sense, same concept. Then Narayana said, yes, definitely. Why not? Because he is what? He is Bhakta Parayana. Okay? Wherever he, somehow he wants, with crook or he, hook or crook, he wants everyone to become devotee of Krishna, devotee of Narayana. Okay? So this way he agreed and he further went. And he saw near to a banyan tree sitting and a cobbler. Okay? Cobbler means stitching the shoes or chapel. He was engrossed in that. When he heard Narayana, Narayana, immediately he ran and fell at the feet. You can understand. That is Vaishnava quality. This Brahman was not Vaishnava quality. In that, he was not. Whenever some Acharya come, immediately we have to pay obeisance. When we enter the temple, we first pay obeisances to not Lord, not Srila Prabhupada, Vaishnavas, assembled devotees. Because only because of devotees we are able to go to that is the etiquette. Hope you are able to grasp this subject. If some, we cannot fully put obeisance, at least in mind we should. Some bodily problem is there for anything happens, then mind we have. Okay. That is what the process is. So, this uh, cobbler immediately gave some prasada to him. Okay. Everything he has okay, done. And he also asked a similar question, same question. When I will go? In this way, Narayana went further and came to, sorry, Narada came further to Narayana. Krishna. Krishna asked, uh, Narayana and Krishna, he came, Narada, Narada came, and Narada asked Narayana, he met these two personalities, Brahmana and Poplar, and they are asking these two questions. And uh, what do you think? Uh, Brahmana, about Brahmana. Then uh, he says, Narayana says, no. He needs some months, years, not even months and years. He needs so many lifetimes, <laughs> more than seven, ten lifetimes. Srila Prabhupada actually gives this story in one of the beautiful books called as Science of Self-Realization. Very important book. It's a basic book. Science of Self-Realization, basic book. All of us should read this. So if you don't have, please make arrangement. You can get this book. Science of Self-Realization. Must read. So, he says like that. Okay, fine. Then what about cobbler? Cobbler in this life don't know to him. Then uh, Narada, Narada is getting bewildered. Why? He's doing so much of sadhana. And he's not doing anything. He's just doing like this. And thinking about Lord and doing like this. Seeing everything. Then he said, you will understand that. You tell this that. Uh, I am trying to put elephant through the needle, hole of the needle. I am trying to put big elephant through the needle, hole of the needle. You tell this and then you will understand. And Narayana, I am telling Narayana for Narada. Okay, Narada. In fact, Narada also, uh, Bhakti incarnation of Narayana. <laughs> okay, he comes and he met, he meets again uh, Brahmana and he, he 
same what did you meet narayana and what he said he says i met but he said you need many life key is it it is it's false only it's not true and what he was doing when he, he was there then he said he was trying to put elephant in the needle i inserted <laughs> then he was making fun you are crazy <laughs> nothing like this can happen so like this he was mentioning and further means he was not qualified further he went to cobbler and uh, when he went to cobbler cobbler also asked he met uh, narayana what he said he said yes you will achieve krishna prapti in this yoga in in this lifetime only oh he was very happy. and he asked what narayana was doing narayana was trying to insert uh, elephant in the hole of the needle is it wow hare ram hare ram 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 hare he was very happy then i asked how you can believe this how you have this faith that lord can do this he says this whole big banyan tree is there in the small seed when seed is put into the earth if we water slowly slowly it becomes and gives so many other uh, seeds narayana can do krishna can do this why can't he put elephant what is the great thing this is what faith means this is what uh shraddha means that is what the 26 work says so very beautiful story it is heart touching actually i am not able to explain properly because of my own uh problems but however hope you understood the uh, gist of this story the subject matter is very important that we should have little knowledge to understand who is telling us right <laughs> and completely surrender to that then naturally knowledge comes completely surrender to him and naturally knowledge comes this is the uh, small story which talks about this uh, before recap yeah. harinama it is there next we will do harinama then we will do recap okay so beautiful words from rupa goswami is namashtakam krishna namashtakam so rupa goswami one of the prominent goswami you will come to know about it when you come again and again regularly associate with us regularly definitely we'll have more such classes so that because what else we can do in this life we have to share this knowledge and again we should not struggle like this in our life only this is the process so you can if you want you can chant after me vachyam actually jaya is not there in certain ways so it starts with vachyam okay vachyam vachakam iti udeti bhavato vachyam vachakam iti udeti bhavato bhavato ha it's come you can repeat after me try to repeat nama swarupa dvayam purvasmat param eva hanta karunam purvasmat param eva purvasmat param eva hanta karunam ti jani mahe विहितापराध निवह प्राणीदोपी majjati majjati this is about holy name lord krishna's name oh holy name you are manifested in two forms the supreme person described by the holy name and the sound vibration of the holy name we know that the second form is even more merciful than the first because although a person may commit many offenses to your first form he will still plunge into an ocean of bliss by serving your second with his voice okay two words you understand here enough vachakam 
vachyam and vachakam okay when we say hare krishna okay when we say hare krishna to whom we are telling krishna he is vachyam okay vachyam the form the krishna himself is vachyam okay that is what the first the supreme person described by the holy name if holy name is not describing then how can we understand krishna it's describing someone who is that that is krishna okay if we do some offenses for example if we don't take bath okay before going inside the temple it's an offense if you don't take bath after going to uh, nature call i mean specifically uh, what is that called defecation okay passing the motion stool after that we should take bath to enter the temple okay if we don't follow that then it is aparadha such aparadha if we do but if we surrender to the second one what is that second one vachakam okay the sound vibration of the holy name that's why i, I said sound remember sound okay shabda this shabda only we should hear no other shabda we should hear only shabda of related to lord's name attentively if we try to listen other shabdas then our attention to this shabda will not happen if we have material attachment then we will not be having listening capacity to for this shabda that is hari naam very important it looks very simple but very important as much as we associate with material things that much that we get away from listening to krishna's name shabda will not end so easily so that's what very important that's why shastra says abhinnatva nama nami okay abhinna there is no bhinna between name and the lord himself when we say hare krishna means lord only lord only that full faith we should with that faith we should chant the holy name of lord definitely definitely no doubt about it he will come to rescue us because we are here struggling and he will come to rescue us no doubt about it <clears throat> so nama chinta mani krishna chaitanya rasa vigraha he has full chaitanya this nama has full chaitanya it has full rasa abhin nama chinta mani krishna chaitanya rasa vigraha very very important is it has full rasa this holy name has full rasa so with that rasa only we can have more and more why we should chant when we chant if we get little taste we will chant more only. if we don't chant we don't get taste we'll stop chanting if you tell okay chant one round we'll tell oh, one round we have to chant one round five minutes it is taking i can eat something i can do some other activity i can earn some money your family member will start telling two hours you are wasting one minute you are wasting oh two hours you are going doing satsang why to waste earn something no <laughs> enjoy your life why to waste they will tell definitely all of us will come back of all this for example uh, technically we are dependent no we were dependent what happened now nature didn't support us similarly no one will support us we have to open our eyes now strongly open eyes and start chanting in the morning as much as possible 7 minutes 5 minutes one round with full focus each and word every word hare krishna hare krishna sound sound here 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 okay hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so each and every word okay so i will not tell, tell thank you before recapping this chapter so recap of chapter so arjuna six questions what are the six questions tell tell quickly <laughs> ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ 
Kshetrajna, Jnana and Jnaya is most fully understood only by devotees. That is the process and we will understand that by seeing their qualities. Okay, only by seeing their qualities, we will understand that, yes, he does something. Some sadhana he does. Okay. Then, uh, all good and bad events occur in matter. The Supreme Purusha is never entangled like the ordinary Purusha. Okay. Bhakti is the easiest and the best path to understand this science. Only path, actually. Tila Prabhupada in certain places says only path. Not all, here, in this place he mentioned like this, but in certain place his only path, other path not so easy. It will come, it, it, other path helps means because of bhakti. Other path, maybe, maybe yoga takes us to Krishna, karma takes us to Krishna only because of bhakti. If bhakti is not there, it will not take. So that's why it is only process. So make firm affirmation that I will do bhakti to Krishna only to Krishna because we already understood in six chapters. Six chapters of bhakti we understood. So that is the process. Thank you so much for helping me to understand this dana little. Thank you all. Vancha kalpatar vishcha kripa sindhu bevacha patitanam pavane pyo vaishnave pyo namakumaha ananta koti vaishnavrinda ki jai namachari shrila haridas toku ki jai. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Prabhuji, for the wonderful lecture. Let's all chat one time for uh, Guru Gauranga Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama, Rama. Hare Hare. Thank you very much.